South Korea saw an on-year rise in the number of newborns in May after a rise in April for the first time in 19 months. But the number of births still remains below the 20,000 mark. Our Lee Soo-jin has the latest figures. The number of births in South Korea rose on-year for the second month in a row in May. Data from Statistics Korea Wednesday shows that there were 19,547 births, a 2.7 percent increase compared to the same month last year. This marks the first time since November 2015 that the country has seen on-year increases in the number of births for the second consecutive month. The agency mainly attributed the rise to a base effect from low birth rates the previous year, as well as an upward trend in the number of marriages from August 2022 to the first half of 2023. But the number of births itself remains relatively low, as it's the second lowest figure on record after dropping to the lowest ever for the month of May last year. The number of deaths dropped 1.2 percent on year, but remained high at 28,546 due to the aging population, bringing the natural decline in population to nearly 9,000. The number of divorces dropped 5.6 percent on year to nearly 8,000, while there was an uptick in the number of marriages. The number of marriages rose, surging 21.6 percent on year, which an official from the agency said was the largest increase for the month of May on record. By region, Taejeon saw the highest increase in the number of births, and this was most likely due to subsidies for married couples. But other regions across the nation, other than Taejeon City, also also rises. The agency said that while further observations are needed, as of now, it expects the nation to continue seeing increases in the number of births and marriages in the latter half of the year. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.